Welcome to Trading Nation, folks. I'm Eric Chemi. Netflix rallying ahead of its earnings report on Monday. The stock is up 60% this year. So should investors just buy Netflix and chill? Let's bring in the Trading Nation team. Gina Sanchez is with Chantico Global. Mike Binger is here from Gradient Investments. Mike, Netflix and chill, can that compete with the chill in Minneapolis right now? Freezing cold temperatures. What are your thoughts on Netflix right now? Yeah, my thoughts on Netflix are that I don't think I would step into Netflix stock price at these levels right here. No, I understand there was an upgrade today, um, but that really seems like someone throwing in the towel and, and putting up a little higher price target on it. Um, I'm not going to deny Netflix is a great company. They're changing the way we watch TV and the way we stream video. Um, but at 70 times earnings uh, for a company that doesn't generate any cash flow, it's hard for me to invest at these levels. I'd much rather step back and, and if for some reason this stock price came down a little bit, invest then. Uh, Gina, some strong words there from Mike talking about cash flow and valuation <laughs> there and, and, you know, have, actually having some price discipline. Are you going to join him with some price discipline as well? Well, you know, I, I would agree with the cautiousness. Now, here's the, uh, here's the positive case. The positive case is that uh, Netflix is starting to see greater profitability and they are starting to slow the spend on original content and that should take them into ca a cash flow positive territory next year. However, at these high valuations, as Mike said, um, they're basically just earning their keep at the moment. They're not necessarily um, they're not necessarily earning a higher valuation. I think their valuation already has all that priced in. And, you know, you, you have really good other things that are happening, like Comcast is going to start offering Netflix as part of their subscription bundles. Um, but that whole space is getting more and more competitive. And, and so I do think that we have to take a wait and see approach because we have priced in um, all of the good things that are happening. I think that's more than priced in. So I would agree with Mike. Wait and see is probably where you need to be on Netflix. What do you think, Gina, real fast about what Mike was saying about that analyst upgrade the price target. I think you moved it up to 350. That's only 10% mm -hmm. up from here. So what are your thoughts on an analyst doing something like that? Does that really, does that, does that matter? I don't think it matters. I think that's noise. And that's also probably the analyst saying, well, I was a little behind the, the target. So <laughs> let me just fix that. I, I don't think that that's a meaningful uh, number. And then Mike, I just want to finish off with you. You know, like Gina said, Comcast, they're going to begin, I think that's right, yeah, they're going to begin offering Netflix subscriptions within their cable bundles starting, I think, this month. That's got to be, it's got to be a real driver, right, to get people who don't want to keep switching their remotes from the cable box to the TV to the Apple TV and all that. To be able to do that integrated, that's got to be a real positive for the company, right? Yeah, I, I mean, it's certainly not a negative thing. I mean, I have Comcast right now, and all I need to do is say Netflix into my remote control, and it pops up there. But, I mean, w we've had that option for quite some time now, um, and Netflix has been offered through almost every TV you buy right now, every smart TV. So, so yeah, Netflix is doing good, and they're adding subscribers. But as Gina said, I think this stock is a, is a stock priced per perfection, and you know what often happens to stocks that are priced for perfection. They usually go, let me guess, they usually go <laughs> up, right? <laughs> Something happens. Yeah, exactly. No, but you make a good point. We're going to see what happens with these earnings. I mean, it's hard to be up 60% in a quarter. I and mean, that's pretty impressive given how expensive the stock was to begin with. So, yeah. Gina, Mike, I appreciate yeah. Good company. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a good company. It's just at what price is the right price to pay, especially when exactly. you know, what's really the P&L here. So, uh, Gina, Mike, thanks for joining us today. And thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Eric Chummy. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.